Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Doggy Dinner Time, a cute RPG maker game about feeding your dog, perhaps around dinner time. Oh, hello there. My name is Olivia, and this tiny cutie here is my dog. <laughs> so cute. It's almost dinner time, which means I need to prepare dinner for my cutie little pet. Oh, but I have this to-do list for my little doggy, and haven't done anything on that list. It's alright. The tasks on my list are pretty quick and simple. I'll just have to do all of them before dinner time starts. It's really important for me to do everything on my to-do list every day. It's always good to keep a steady active schedule to keep the dog healthy. Now, let's check out that to-do list. Objective. Look the to-do list. Dog and Olivia. Oh man, our stats are off the wall. Do, do people say that? Well, they're really high. Yes, and Dog has 1 HP in comparison. Hmm, better save my game. We are one tough dog owner. This is my flower pot. I love flowers. They're pretty and they smell good too. This is a toy box, but not for me. It's a box filled with dog toys. There's a lot of toys in there. I bought the best toys a dog would ever want. Okie dokie, let's see here. The first thing I need to do is teach the dog a new trick. Hmm, I wonder what I can teach a dog. Teach the dog to do your taxes. Maybe I should try looking up online what tricks I can teach my dog. My computer is in my room, so let's head there. New objective, teach your dog a new trick. This is my flower pot. I love flowers, they're pretty and they smell good too. This is my cabinet. This is a secret, secret. But inside this cabinet carries a super special treat for my cutie. I make sure this cabinet is sealed shut. Wouldn't want to have my pet detect the smell and try to take it behind my back. Their birthday is almost coming up, so I'm waiting for that occasion to give them their gift. They're going to be super happy with that when I got them. This is my chair. This is my table. This is my floor. This is my drawer where I keep my stuff. This is my shelf where I keep my stuff. This is my shelf where I keep my stuff. This is my kitchen counter. I can cook a lot of things. Like pasta and rice and fish. Oh my, thinking about food is making me hungry. I better get working on my list. This is my kitchen sink. Wash, wash, wash. Clean all the dirt away. It's a real time sink. This is my stove. An induction cooktop is so handy. I won't get burned if I accidentally touch it. Oh, you got one of those, huh? This is my fridge. It keeps my food fresh and cold. It's a pretty chill dude. It's the evening, but it's still nice and sunny outside. I love the warm evening sun. I don't need to go outside at the moment. This is my lamp. The lighting is dim, but I still like it because it's a cute lamp. This is my piano. This is my piano! <laughs> I used to play it a lot when I was little. Do we have a little heart pupils? Yeah, we do. Although I can only play simple songs like Je te veux and Fu Elisa. This is my sofa. It's so nice and comfy. This is my television set. No one watches TV anymore. I love watching drama and romance. I find them very exciting. Ah, but there's just so many of them. It's so hard to keep track and catch up with all the shows. So which one's my bedroom? This is... Oh my god. More furniture we can go and look at that we can say this is my furniture. This is my small table. It's where I write things and study. I love to write a lot. Even writing pretty words like dream and love makes me happy. This is my bookshelf. I have a lot of interesting books in my shelves. 
The Little Prince. Oh, I love that book. Red Riding Hood. Anne of Green Gables. There's just so many wonderful stories to read. The closet where I keep my clothes. I love to shop a lot, so there's a lot of outfits packed in my closet. Hmm. Recently it's been hard to try to close my closet because of that. I have to wrap a rubber band around the handles to keep the closet shut. Perhaps I should buy a bigger closet later so I can go buy even more clothes. A drawer where I keep my socks and undergarments. Whoops, did I really say undergarments out loud? How embarrassing. Oh well. No picking my drawers. You. The player. A.K.A. me. This is my dressing table. I use to dress myself and make myself look cute. This is Ben. It's pretty old. I got it when I was very little. I guess I took a really good care of this toy rabbit since it lasted for so long. This is my bed. My favorite bed in the world. It's soft and comfy. I like to read on my bed at night, but when I wake up in the morning, the books end up wrinkled and crushed. I should really be more careful with my books. This is my dresser. I usually put my books and other small items in there. Alright, let's look up dog tricks I can teach my dog with. Hmm, this trick seems a bit too advanced. Whoa, I didn't know a dog could do that. Huh, what a silly dog trick. Bark. Oh, whoops. I got too carried away being entertained by all these dog videos. Hey, this dog trick seems pretty simple. Let's try this out. Okay, doggy. Watch carefully. We call this a spin. Pretty simple, right? Now you try, doggy. It's alright, little doggy. Take all the time you need. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Yay! Wow, you did it. Such a good little doggy. I know you could do it if you believe in yourself. We just finished our first task in our to-do list. Let's see what we should do next. I'm sure we can finish that list in no time. Then we can finally have dinner. Nice. A nice simple game. Simple nice things happen. It's very rare to have that. The next thing I need to do on that list is... Give the dog a toy to play with. Ah, well of course. After learning a new trick, a good dog should be rewarded. The dog toys are kept in the toy box. Let's open it up and get some toys for our little doggy. Give your dog a toy to play with. What's in this room? This leads to the hallway. I don't think I need to go in there at the moment. Let's open this toy box, shall we? Wow, so many neat toys. You're pretty excited too, aren't you? There's so many nice toys in this box. Hmm. I wonder which toy I should let you play with. Hmm. Toy ball. No, toy bone. A toy bone seems a good choice for the doggy. Here you go, little cutie. Yay. You seem to be enjoying the little doggy. Oh, are you done playing? Let me put that toy back in the box. Let's see what else is next on the list. The next thing you need to do on that list is... Walk the dog to the park. Sounds fun. Evening walks are so nice. I better get the leash. I wonder where I put it. I should go look around for it. Then we can go on a walk. New objective, give your dog a walk at the park. Where did I put that leash? The leash is definitely not there. Leash is not in here. Not here. Oh, I found the leash. Obtain leash. Park. Yep, let me put this leash on you real quick. I hope it's not on too tight. Park. Yay! Let's head out then, shall we? Oh, what a nice town. Construction ahead. Huh. 
Park. Anime. There's a party for dog owners near the park. How nice. Maybe I should go over there as well. I hope I don't want to finish my to-do list as quickly as possible. I'm sure there's always a next time in the future. Look at this again. Cunt evil lord. Did I read that right? Ah, oh, it's nice to see you here. Hi, Olivia. So what's up? I'm going to walk my dog to the park. I'm just chilling on this bench. I came back from work, so I'm tired. You look like you're working hard. Take it easy, alright? <laughs> my doggy says so too. Uh, didn't that dog have brown fur the last time I saw you walking the dog out? What do you mean? I'm sure I saw that dog with brown fur before. And this dog has always had white fur. What? I'm pretty sure you were walking with a brown dog last week. You know my memory isn't bad. Well, maybe you had mistaken me for someone else. There's a lot of people with dogs around the neighborhood. This dog always had white fur, see? Uh... Maybe you're just a bit tired from working all day. I'll see you later, alright? Ah, uh, fine. I guess I should just head home now. Okay, bye. Nothing suspicious going on here. Nope. It was nice meeting Anne today. Oh, I got too carried away. Let's go. Going through a walk in the park. It's just a walk in the park. Because that's all it really is. This park has really bad layout. It kind of winds around. It's kind of annoying. And I can't... I can't... Hmm? What is this? For the five dollar bill! Oh wow, what a lucky encounter. Today was certainly a good day for a walk. Maybe the universe is telling me that this day will go by smoothly. Don't you think that, doggy? By the way, there was a zip file in the folder of this game that said totally not suspicious. Which means it's suspicious, I think. We'll look at that later. Wow, so many cute dogs at the park. Park. Olivia? Belle! It's so nice to see you here. It's nice to see you too. There's so many dogs here today. More dogs than usual for sure. Yeah, well there's a little party near the harbor close from this park. For dog owners. I'm just here to supervise their dogs while they enjoy their foods. All by yourself. Don't you want to go to the party too? It's fine. I've already ate earlier. Besides, I enjoy taking care of the dogs. Well, then do you mind if I accompany you? You don't have to really. What about you? Don't you want to go and see the party yourself? Nah, I'm working on a list so I can't stay outside for long. Also, you must feel a bit lonely even with all these dogs. Let's chat for a bit. If you insist, that's kind of you to do so. Alright, doggy. I'll go ahead and take off your leash real quick, so you can hang out with the other dogs. Make sure to stay within these boundaries, okay? If you want to head home, let me know. Bark. Apparently I am the dog now. Can I, can I just flee? Where are you going? If you want to head back, then let me know. Bark. Bark, bark. Bork. Bark. Meow. <laughs> meow, meow. Bork, bark, bork. Meow. What a lovely little dog you are. Do you want to head home now? Hmm. You look like you do. Okay, let's go home. Me and my dog are going home now. It was nice talking to you. Take care. Thanks for hanging out with nice- Have Thanks for hanging out with nice talking out with you too. It was a, it was a little weird sentence.
All right, little doggy, we're going home. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I recently ran out of milk. The convenience store is still open, so I can just head there real quick and buy a carton. I'll use a lucky $5 bill I found recently to pay for the milk, too. Let me just quickly add this task to my to-do my to -do list. The objective, buy milk at the convenience store. Well, that's convenient. Ooh, happy cafe. Oh, there's an old man behind the store. He seems very cozy there. Pretty tall for the glass. He's sleep talking too. How funny. I think I'll just leave him be. Sweet dreams. I love visiting this cafe during the weekends. They have the best snacks and drinks. It's closed during evenings. So we can't go right now. Maybe another day. So many yummy snacks on the shelves. I must refrain though. Too much junk food is not good. Now to get some milk. Milk. Got it. Now I just need to pay at the cash register and then I can head home. Keep the change. Ooh, big spender. Alright, I bought the milk. Now we can head home. Now is the milk an item in our... Yes, it is. It's a nice day. Okay, you know, found some money. Got some milk. Went to the dog park. Told someone to keep the change. Ah, so nice to be home. I should probably put the milk in the fridge or it'll spoil. Now the milk can stay nice and fresh. Let's check what's next on the list. The next thing we need to do on that list is... To give the dog a bath. After going out for so long, it would be feel really nice to take a good bath right after. Let's head to the bathroom down the hallway and wash you right up. The objective, give your dog a bath. Which way is the bathroom? This room leads to the basement. It's mainly just extra supplies in there. It's also a place where I just put away items I don't need at the moment. I don't need to head in there right now. This is the guest room. When my friends and family visit, they usually stay in this room when sleeping over. Uh, I didn't mention it at all, but as you can see, I live alone, except for my pet, of course. Why is a young girl like me living by herself, you ask? Well, it may not look like it, but I'm actually 52. I'm turning 53 in two months? Just kidding. <laughs> But it would be pretty interesting if I was that old, don't you think? There's not much in the room since I barely have guests come over a son from last week. So let's leave it alone for now. Take it, why have you been talking to us the entire time? You know we exist? Here we are. Let's go ahead to that bathtub and wash you right up. Chris Splash. Is the water okay? Bark. That's good to hear. Now let's put some shampoo in. Oh, we ran out of shampoo already. It's okay. There's more shampoo down in my basement. I'll head down and grab a new bottle. Sit still while I go get it, okay? It's me. This is my laundry basket. There's not a lot of clothes since I live alone and all. This is the toilet. This may come as a surprise, but I actually trained my doggy to use this toilet. I need to go out all the time. This is my drawer where I keep my stuff. This is the bathroom sink. Wash your hands for 20 seconds and always brush your teeth, your teeth twice a day. It's a tweef. There for a moment. <laughs> uh, it's old school. It's a box full of things. What kind of things? I don't know. Probably photos and gold gifts. My cute little shelf of cute little trinkets. It's a sheet covering a big object. What object? Probably a bicycle. Let's see, there should be another bottle in here. There. Found it. 
Now I can go finish up washing the dog. What is this? This is a meat grinder? I used to grind meat. My pet likes to eat raw meat, so I would grind it up to make it tender and easier for them to chew. Why is it such a big grinder, you ask? I'm not really sure. I just bought it online out of the blue because it was so cheap. I was surprised by how cheap this grinder was. <laughs> this is a door to a secret room. Secret? Why is it a secret? If I tell you, then it won't be a secret no more. Doggy, I found the shampoo bottle. Now I can finish washing you right up. There. Now you're nice and squeaky clean. So cute. Let's draw you up and check out what's next on the list. So I think it's gonna be a happy, cute adventure to the end. I don't know about you all, if you have suspicions, but... I feel like it's gonna be happy to the end. That that's gonna be a twist. It's just gonna be a normal, a normal story. There's no twist here. There's nothing in the description that like gave warnings or anything. This is a normal, cute story. And that that's what I'm gonna stick with, till I'm proven wrong. Cause I I download this thinking this was gonna be a cute dog game, and I'm I'm fully expecting that to be. The next thing I need to do on that list is tell the dog I love you. New objective: tell the dog I love you. Bark. What a quirky little task. <laughs> well, I did make it this list after all. Okay, little doggy, I'm about to say it. I'm serious. I'm going to say it. Hmm, I want to say it, but it's hard. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. I super duper love you a lot. I love you more than the whole town. Aw, oh, I'm happy you love me too. That was the last thing on our list. Hooray, we did it. Now I can finally make dinner. Let's head to the basement right away. Hmm. So what do I do here? <laughs> Are you ready for dinner? Oh right, I almost forgot. Obtain hammer. What? What am I going to do with this hammer, you ask? Ah, well, you don't need to worry about it. No. No! You're just fixing the machine! Just fixing the machine! Dog is off screen! Just put some steaks in there, we weren't looking, right? Look, see the dog's still there! We just threw some steaks from off screen. Between ground do The perfect consistency. Now let's have turned into my cutie pet. Uh. What? What the? Oh, your fat is bulging out. So cute. Here you go. I made you some nice dinner. That's right. Eat all up, my cute little cutie Lulu. By the way, I already got you a very special gift for your birthday since it's coming up pretty soon. I can't wait to give it to you. It's really hard to find good quality luxuries like those these days. You're so sweet, cutie Lulu. I love you more than anything in the whole world. Enjoy your dinner. So there was the password there in that sign. Then I unlocked the save file. Or rather, unlocked the zip file, which gave me a save file. Which I'm gonna try now. It claims that it's the same game with slightly different dialogues and endings. So if I don't see anything new, I'm gonna be skipping around. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, yeah, Tazay. 
Are you too stupid to understand such a simple trick? You can do it. Believe in yourself. Park. Wow, you did it. Such a good little donkey. I know you can do it if you believe in yourself. Maybe you should just mind your own business. Maybe you're tired from working all day. She was just a little more forceful in that dialogue. It was like really subtle and quick. It was nice being Anne today. Oh, I got too carried away thinking. Let's go. this? Oh, I accidentally stepped on a worm. Poor little worm. And my cute shoes have been soiled too. I hope it's not a bad omen or anything. Well, perhaps I shouldn't think too negatively about it. The worm was squished for soiling my shoes. Poor worm should have known what's coming. Don't you think so, doggy? Oh, there's a five dollar bill under a dead worm. I guess the day wasn't so unlucky after all. That was different. <laughs> for sure. So that was all same dialogue. Why was I try to leave? Same? Wait, what? Do you consider the holy dog to be your life and savior, Bark? We can understand dog language. I'm not a dog, but could you still accept me? My tummy doesn't feel so good. I think there was something in that chicken I ate from the garbage this morning. Oh my god, it's hit me hard right now. You look like me. Doggy, can you see me? It's me, your brother. Olivia, our master is actually using you. Before then, I was her dog. Before me, our sister and brothers were hers. She groomed us until we were ready to become her pet's dinner. I caught on earlier than our other family me. But it was too late. I could still remember the pain she gave me. Please, brother, get out of the house before she hurts you too. I have a gift hidden in the bathroom for you. You can use it to save yourself. I remember when I was your age and met you for the first time. You were still a baby pup. I was happy thinking I had a friend to play with. Doggy. If only we were born in a loving family with a loving owner. I hope one day you could leave her and be free. Goodbye, brother. Ghost dog. So what if this old man that was sleeping here was hinting at something? Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. You, I saw you. What did you say? You saw me before? Through the window. You. Get away from me! Oh dear, I didn't mean to startle him. Hey, now that I think about it, I think it was my next door neighbor. I wonder why he was sleeping here. I should greet him properly when I see him again later. Oh, you know why I was sleeping here. He didn't want to be next to you. He runs for the drawer. Tin razor. Whoa ho ho! Talkie, I found the shampoo bottle. Now I can finish washing you right up. Hmm, weird. The floor is wet. You should be more careful swimming in the tub, or you'll splash the water out. There, now you're nice and squeaky clean. So cute. Let's dry you up and check out what's next on the list. Let me see. I'm gonna see if the item's equipped on the dog. I feel like it'd be a nice detail. No, it isn't. But that would be kind of interesting. The next thing you need to do on the list is... Tell the dog I love you. <laughs> Are you ready for dinner? Alright, I almost forgot. What am I going to do with this hammer, you ask? Ah, oh, well, you don't need to worry about it. Rules of nature. What? 
You step back. Doggy, I don't remember teaching you how to dodge. Since when did you get that razor? Are you going to poke me with it? What a silly dog. Hey, are you going to- Air conditioning, it's gonna overheat in that room. You tore the exhaust hose. Oh no, if you do that then- Oh no, it's just gonna turn the whole place on fire. Oh dear. There's baby basement overheated faster than I expected. Goodness. Poor cutie Lulu. <sighs> it looks like the heat is affecting you too. You need to get out of this damn house. Wait. You think you can easily leave just like that? Olivia. Doggy, you can talk. You can go to hell. Damn. Well, that wasn't very nice. Now, this cabinet... Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a guy missing... the missing poster. We just gotta leave him? Dog's like, oh well. Sorry buddy, can't help you. Secret end. So that's it for Donkey Dinner Time. So, it was dinner time, alright. So, initially I thought the game's twist was gonna be, oh, maybe her dog already passed away. She's talking like, she's not talking to any dog or anything. It's, it's just, she's remembering the memories of her dog. And it's just gonna be a cute game. It's gonna be like, about, you know, moving on and your memories of your fond pets and stuff. And like, accepting your dog is gone, etc, etc. Oh, no! No, it wasn't. Nope, it was, it was in that school. That school of thought. No, and instead we have a Lovecraftian beast in the basement that we feed dogs to. But the secret ending, though, <laughs> the secret ending, the dog telling the the girl to go to hell, that, that that's amazing, I, I guess, in its own way. But yeah, you know, cute game aside from that. What else can we say about it? It's exactly what it is. It's doggy dinner time. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Doggy Dinner Time. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy. Thank you.